Well, hello, guys. This is Katie with Vintage and Vinyl, and I'm so excited to be doing a friend mail unboxing. Now, I've done these before recorded, but I do find that they work really well live because I like interacting with all of you guys, and it's so fun to get to read all of your notes and open special things from you all. You never have to send me anything. However, I feel so incredibly special when you do. It is fun opening notes and, and seeing treasures that you guys thought would be something that I would like. And it's always just a lot of fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that sent me something. It is just so wonderful to get to read all these notes. I'm surrounded by packages and I just am overwhelmed in the best way possible. It's just so fun. So tonight we are going to be opening some friend mail. This is my Wednesday video. I do have a fun vinyl video coming out on Friday. That will be Friday at normal time at seven o'clock Eastern. Now I know there's a lot happening in the community right now. So I know that you guys are probably going back and forth. I know Misty's live with Jeffrey and Daniel and uh, um, so many other folks, uh, David on Toledo Antique right now. I think Mimi at Cindy's Treasure wow. Cottage is having a sale. So if that is something that you guys want to watch, I totally understand those things are happening. This is a live chat. So you can always come back and watch these things later, but it is fun to interact with you guys live. So let's see who's in the chat. Tia Fain is here. Hello, hello. Thank you, Tia Fain. I thought this was kind of fun and different. Martha Vintage Conversation is joining us. Hello, Martha. Elba is in the chat. Hi, Elba. And Barbie's here. Aw, thanks, Barbie. I appreciate that. And our rockin' rodent, Dubot Bob, is here. How's Vlada Bob? I hope he's doing well. She rather is doing well and dancing along to some fun doo-wop music. Louise says hello. And I've got so many fun packages to open. So I'll give a few minutes for some folks to come in. Again, I know there's a lot happening today in the community. So it is rather hard to get to everything. And I totally understand that. Hey, Debbie, Debbie, I've got your box right here. So I can't wait to open that. I'll open that first. I see Abby joining us from Cozy Curated Cottage. Thanks, Abby. Now, if you're not following Abby, let me say Abby is amazing. She has a great Instagram and she finds the most amazing things. And she just got some antique perfume and medicine bottles. And she posted about that on her Instagram stories. So she's on Instagram and she also has a YouTube channel, Cozy Curated Cottage. So definitely go check her out. Miss Bev is coming in. Hi, Miss Bev. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Uh, Vlad is fine. That's good. That is good, Bob. Hi, VLN, coming in from Canada, I believe. Welcome, welcome. And if I missed anyone, I'm so sorry. So, yes, I love your Instagram, Abby. I'm always checking every day to see what you post because Abby, Abby finds some really, really cool things. Just amazing things. So definitely go check her out. So I've got some fun things to open here, and I think this will be a lot of fun. I'm going to go ahead and jump in since Debbie's in the chat. Debbie from Chicago sent me this fabulous box that I am about to open right now. And I'm just telling you, it is pretty amazing. So let me get this thing hoisted up here so you can see it. This is such a cool box from Debbie. Now, Debbie, I'm going to have to set this down because I'm kind of packed in over here, folks. So I'm, I'm going to do this this way. Uh, so I'll set it down and I'll just go through it. Debbie sent such a nice note. She said, enclosed are the 45 RPM record storage boxes that I bought many years ago and never used. And I knew you would put them to good use. Also enclosed is a brooch from 1964. I hope you like it. Oh, Debbie. Oh, this is amazing. Now, Debbie had emailed me and said she had these 45 containers and thought that I would like them. And, of course, I said yes, because I really, really love these 45 holders. I use them to store 45s. They're great. So I'm really glad to get some more of them. And Debbie has everything wrapped up so nicely. Look at this black silk ribbon. Debbie, you just did such a good job. And, you know, I will be reusing all of these package toppers and ribbons because and bubble wrap. I mean, what a great, nice sheet of bubble wrap here. We all like that. Oh my goodness, I see this pen here. Oh, how cool is this? This is a Beatles brooch. <laughs> I've never seen one of these. Debbie, how awesome is this? Look at this, it's the Beatles guitar, and it's got the Beatles on it. 
1964. How fun is that? And you can actually wear this as a pen. Oh, Debbie, I'm going to have to rock this tonight on my show with Adam. I'll definitely put this on and wear this for my record show and tell with Adam because this is just so fun. Yeah, Debbie has beautiful handwriting. She really does. It's so cool. That's amazing. Hi, Angela. Angela's our fabulous resident calendar girl. She works really hard on putting together a calendar every week and does some great designs uh, for everyone in the community. So thanks, Angela, for joining. I'm so glad, Debbie, that you sent this. This is just so fun. So I can't wait to wear this tonight. Now, Debbie also sent, and I want to make sure I save the note here. I save all of the notes you guys send because they are so sweet. And Debbie sent over a bunch of these record 45 sleeves and they're in great shape. So you have the index where you can write your 45s, Oops, wrong side. And then inside you can fill them with 45s. And I just love these because they really work so well for 45s to store them because I have a lot of 45s and I just don't have room to have them all, you know, in a file box. So I really, really like these. These are amazing. Hey, Carrie, how are you doing? Thanks so much for joining. Uh, Christine from Side Street Market is here. Oh, thank you, Christine. I'm so glad you like the green. That's kind of fun. And Logan is joining us, Vintique Scavenger. Just sent out your package yesterday, Logan. So thanks so much for your uh, purchase. Yes, and the bubble wrap. I love the bubble wrap, Debbie, because I can reuse all of this bubble wrap in my packaging. So thank you, thank you, thank you. That is that is the best gift to someone that does uh, YouTube reselling or vintage uh, things in the community because we all love that bubble wrap. And she sent another 45 adapter. And look at uh, adapters. These aren't adapters, 45 holders. And look at the spines. Isn't that cool? I love that little design on there. And there are more of these guys. And it's the box that never ends with the most amazing little 45 record containers. I love these little uh, books to hold 45s. They're so great, Debbie. I just love these. And there's something else in the bottom here. This is just amazing. <laughs> Look at these. Now, this is a different style I've never seen. This is my record house. And look at these. How cool is this? And it's red. You guys know how much I love the color red. Oh, this is fabulous, Debbie. I will definitely be using every single one of these. I just got about 30 more 45. So this is going to be really perfect for this. And there's more in here. Wow, Debbie, this, this is like the jackpot. <laughs> and I will use every single one of these for 45s. This is absolutely amazing. Look at the detail on that, you guys. How fun is that? It, look at the little Holland shoe. I think these might be Dutch. And is that a bunny? Yeah, there's a little bunny. There's a little Dutch shoe, a bunny. And look, Angela, there's deer for you. You and Randy Heilman, there's some deer. These are awesome. Hi, Cindy. Cindy, I've got a package from you too sitting right here that I can't wait to, to open. Bob's loving these record 45 holders because Bob's my resident fellow that loves uh, vinyl as well. And I'm pulling out some more. And don't worry, folks. Louie is safely in the kennel, so she will not be able to eat anything. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. Oh, there's more of these. Debbie, I'm telling you, these are just amazing. These are fantastic. So Debbie sent me all of these amazing record books, which I will be using. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these, Debbie. Wow. I am spoiled, folks. I am so spoiled. Oh, Debbie, thank you so much. These are amazing. Yes, I definitely can use them. Hi, Eclectic Thrifter. Now, I love Eclectic Thrifter. She has been doing some great videos, and she did a Jello video and a brooch video. Definitely go check out Catherine's channel, Eclectic Thrifter. She just does some great things. Yes, very nice albums, because you don't find them in this good a shape. Usually they're torn up, the covers are falling off, something doesn't fit right in the book. So these are amazing. Thank you so much, Debbie. I just love them. Can't wait to get all my 45s organized in them. Now, the next friend mail I got 
is something actually that's technically not friend mail, but I wanted to share it. This is from my cousin Ellie, Ellie Hirsch. She sent this to me and she sent such a nice little note. And these are fun things she thought that I would like. And she's absolutely right. This is, hi, Katie. Not sure how old these are, but I'm pretty sure the 612 bug stick is from the 1960s. Not sure if there's a way to tell, uh, but much love and hugs, Ellie. Very, very sweet note, Ellie. Love the little bird card. And she wrapped them up so nicely. Oops. And I, I just dropped one. I'm telling you, that always happens during a friend mail. I drop something. So let me find this bug stick that fell down here. Well, <laughs> it fell on the floor. There it is. I got it. You know, it's hard when you do these things live, right? Live shows, there's always something that goes awry. But she sent me these fabulous, cool little uh, advertising tents because she knows how much I love my advertising. And this is pretty cool. This is an insect repellent stick. It still has the repellent in it, which is very, very cool. I think that these came from her Kentucky Lake uh, house, and these are amazing. Now, this one does not have a zip code, so I would definitely say early 60s for this because five-digit zip codes came out in 1963. Two-digit zip codes were used in the late 40s for big cities, uh, so think like New York, L.A. So I think this is really fantastic. Do not take internally. Yeah, I would think that's a pretty good idea. But look at the graphics on the side of this. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I just love this. So 612 insect repellent, personal protection against mosquitoes, chiggers, and gnats. So this is very cool. And then she also sent a little spice tin. Now, I think this is fun. This is a uh, durky, I think is how you say it, uh, ground mustard. And look at the graphics on this, you guys. I love this kind of mustard yellow and the red. It's just so pretty. These old spice tins are really fantastic. And this has a barcode on it. So again, probably from the 70s or so, because I believe 1973 is when they started using barcodes and UPC codes. So this is definitely vintage and really cool. And this will be great in a Thanksgiving display because it's kind of got those autumn colors. And I'm going to do something really fun with this. It's the uh, Durkee Famous Foods Corporation. It does have a zip code and it's out of Cleveland, Ohio. So really, real 10. Thank you so much, Ellie. I just love these. They're awesome. And LJ is joining us. Hey, LJ. Welcome, welcome. Abby is saying that is cool. I agree. Yeah, these little tins are awesome. And you lived in Baltimore, Maryland, Bob says. Well, how cool is that, Bob? That is really, really cool. So thank you, Ellie. These are phenomenal. Okay. Now, what else did I get in this friend mail home? I'm trying to save notes with everything. So that's why I'm, I'm being very careful how I put all of this over off to the other side of me. So the next thing I got is from Mr. L. Page. Now, Mr. L. Page got this for me from Vintage Vinny's sale, and it was so sweet of him. It is a Kerrite splicing compound tape, and I love the graphics on this. I absolutely love this 10. I believe these splicing compound tapes, if I'm right, were used for film. So this is just amazing. I've never seen the one with the black. There's, I think, a yellow one and a red one that I've seen that's a little bit more easy to find. So this black one's pretty cool. And look at the colors. Wouldn't this be great for Halloween? So this is really, really, really cool. So thank you so much, Randy. That's Mr. L. Page from the chats. He bought this for me from Vinny's uh, sale. So I love this tin. It's so cool. And I wanted to say, I think... This is probably from the 50s or so. Again, no zip code on it. But that doesn't mean that they, you know, didn't include a zip code. Uh, maybe they just didn't put one on there. Uh, but anyway, I think that is just so, so cool. Who else is joining us? Oh, yes. Durkee onions on your green bean casserole. Yes, I love green bean casserole. I'm a big fan. I know several other people don't like it, but I love it. <laughs> The next thing that I got is a sweet little gift from Debbie. Now, Debbie at Our Vagabond Travels sent this to me, and I just think it is so lovely. And she sent this little note along. 
that says, Katie, you are so kind. Just a little something for you. Debbie, our vagabond travels. And look at this cute little card, a treat for you. I just love these little cupcakes on here. And she sent me a really fun brooch. And this is the Moonlight Sonata little music note brooch. Isn't this fun? I just love these. And what's neat is I was actually talking about getting more music brooches to wear in my vinyl videos. So this is going to be really, really fun to wear. It's a really nice pen. It is marked. I want to say that's FF on the back. But how cool is this brooch? Debbie, thank you so much. I just love this. Really a nice pen. So that is going to be fun to wear. Okay, let's see. My mom's in the chat and she's saying, Durkee mustard and mayo on white bread with ham. Ate that all the time growing up as kids. I bet that's really, really good. Hi, Deb Sherman. Thanks so much for joining us. So thank you, Debbie. I love this little pin that's so, so special and so neat. Hi, Helen Booty, New England Thrifter is joining us. Hey, Helen. I'm so glad you're here. That is wonderful. And Sarah Lee's coming in as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming. I know there's a lot competing for your time tonight, so I appreciate you joining. Now, this is another something that came from Mr. L. Page, Randy, from the chats. He bought this of a Joni sale. Now, Joni has a fabulous vintage live sale every Tuesday night at nine o'clock. That's vintageous. And Randy said in this little, or Joni said in this little note, a little birdie who Oh, wait a minute. I've got the wrong <laughs> note. I I don't know where my brain is, folks, today. I've got the note and I, I got the wrong person. So let me let me just start all over again. Joni does have fabulous sales and they are on Tuesday nights at nine o'clock. This is from Proud American. <laughs> so Proud American says. A birdie, told, a birdie who is proud American is sending this gift your way, Joni. Although it looks almost new, it is from the 50s. And so she wrapped this up so nicely. And it says, you deserve this. A little fun sticker there. Great note also from Joni. And here's her card, Vintageress. Isn't that pretty? Joni just has great things. And it says, scotch tape, celluloid tape. And it's the large economy size. So this is one of those really awesome scotch tape tins. I love this proud American. You know, I have a little collection of these and I love this small size because they're really awesome. I have printers trays. I'll have to show a picture of it sometimes, but I have printers trays and I have all of these uh, lined up up top in my little tiny tins, which is where I'll put the bug tin from Ellie and I'll put this one next to it. So this is really fantastic. I love these scotch tape tins and she's right. You don't find these this clean. That's just amazing. So yes, this is from the 1950s. Very, very, very cool. I love this. Oh, thank you, vintage loving nerd. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is kind of a fun, they say it's a charcoal gray, although I think it's a reading a little lighter on camera. Vinny is joining us. Oh, you had a premiere. Vinny, I'm sorry. Vinny, there is so much going on tonight. It is okay. There, Misty's live with Jeffrey right now on another channel. I think Cindy's having a sale. Somebody else. I mean, you just can't. The schedule is getting so full that you just have to do what works for you. So it is, it is okay, Vinny. It is definitely okay. I'm sorry I ran into your premiere. But that's bound to happen when the schedule just gets so full. I love it, Proud American. Thanks so much for joining. And I'm sorry I, I got the card temporary temporarily mixed up. It's easy to do. But thank you. Thank you so much. I love it, PA. And I'll send you a picture of where I put it because it's going to go on top of my fun little printer's trays. Hey, Tiger. Oh, no, Tiger. We just started. So you only missed two things. And I haven't opened your package yet. So thank you, Tiger, for joining. Yes, I love that black card with the flowers. It is really, really pretty. Yes. Oh, you have to run. No worries, Tiger. This will always be on the replay, but I'm so glad that you are here. Oh, you're here. Okay. Very good. 
Very good, Tiger. So the next friend mail item that I got is from Patrick, but it's actually from somebody else. They got it off of Patrick's sale. And it says, Katie, this box includes a gift from Rebecca Higgins from my live sales, a gift from me that I hope you like, Patrick. So very, very sweet note, Patrick. And he's got some killer cool cards. Don't you just love the little huckster guy with his swung vase? and the little huckster traveling showcase suitcase. I just love it. Patrick's got great stuff. So these are the things that Rebecca sent me. How awesome are these little Hoover booklets? So this is from the Hoover Company out of North Canton, Ohio. And what they are is they're just little notebooks, which are fabulous. And I think inside, yes, Patrick has included this fun little gift for you from Rebecca Higgins. And I just love these. Now, what I do with a lot of these fun little ephemera things is I actually have an ephemera bowl and I put them in the bowl. And these are going to be a great little addition to the bowl. So this says Hoover, the word for quality appliances in over 100 countries around the world, a proud past and exciting future. I love the red on this. Isn't this cool? And Hoover vacuums are so iconic. So this will be a fun little notebook thing to add to my ephemera bowl. And I love the graphics on it. So Rebecca, thank you so much. You are so very sweet. And thanks, Patrick, for the care and shipping it to me. Vinny says, I know I have my premiere on my phone and you on my computer. Oh, Vinny, you are so sweet. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, definitely, guys, if you can do split screens, go check out Vinny's premiere now. I'm literally telling my premiere to end, so I'm not taking up time. Oh, v Vinny, you are okay. <laughs> I know that we all worry about that. You know, that that's the thing in this community that's so hard is so many people are doing live events these days that it is really impossible to not run into someone. And we try not to, but it's just so hard. It's, you can't, it's inevitable. <laughs> yes, I love Patrick's graphics too, uh, Sarah Lee. It's awesome. And I love the black prints on the cards, the textiles. Yeah, so unique, isn't it? He's got a great card and these are awesome. So thank you so much, Rebecca Higgins. I just love these, these are wonderful. Okay, so the next item that I got, speaking of Patrick, is actually from Patrick. And these are two special things that he included in my box when he sent these things over. And it says, I thought these were so unique. Thanks for all of your help, Patrick. Really fun note there. And of course, he included these brass paper fasteners, because how awesome is this little cardboard tin? Now, I have a collection of office collectible things. So this is going to go with my office collectibles next to my typewriter ribbons. I love this. This has got some age to it. I would probably date this to around 1940. Um, I just, with that font and the paper label, it's just so awesome. And I also got this from Patrick. Now, Patrick had a, a deep dive that he did on insulators. And I actually collect insulators. I don't have a massive collection, but I never have had a pottery porcelain one. So Patrick sent me the insulator that he featured in the deep dive. And how cool is this? This is just absolutely an amazing piece. Really cool shape. This sucker is heavy. And I just love him. So he is going to be another pride and joy addition to my collection. So Patrick, thank you so much. And guys, if you're not subscribed to Patrick, you really should be because he puts out some great content. He's so knowledgeable on a variety of subjects and he's got live sales every Thursday at eight. And I believe this Sunday at eight o'clock Eastern, he's going to have another deep dive on souvenir jewelry. So definitely go check that out. That's exciting. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Nifty little gifts. I agree. Yeah, very stunning. Hi, Blackie uh, Journalin. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, ephemera bowl is fun. It's really fun. So I've got my, my great grandmother's bowl and I just fill it with fun ephemera because it just makes me happy, you know, seeing this bowl of old ephemera. It's just a great way to store it. So it's really fun. So Patrick, thank you. Thank you so much for these treasures. I love them. They're going to be a great addition to my collection. And I'm just setting things safely off to the side. Hey, Jose, welcome to the chat. I'm so glad you are here. 
And I got another little something from Patrick. Now, this is a sweet gift from Beth. And this is a mystery box. So Patrick actually does mystery boxes. And I was really lucky to win. Well, I didn't win, but uh, Beth did. She won a mystery box. She won two of them that night. And she actually wanted to send one to me, which was so sweet. So this is the mystery box from Beth. And Patrick puts together some cool mystery boxes. Because the first thing that I noticed when I opened the mystery box is I got one of the epic maxi pads. Now, if you are new to my channel and you're seeing this for the first time, you're probably going, what is with the vintage maxi pads? Well, Patrick bought over 200 of these like 1960s, 70s maxi pads, and he started to sell them in a live sale and people love them. And it was the, the night that Nate from New Zealand, our friend Nate, was keeping track for Patrick. And he had all these maxi pads to keep track of. I think like a hundred of them or more sold. And Nate always jokes that he was fainting with the multiples. So the iconic maxi pads are now in every mystery box you get from Patrick. And I love this. It's just such a fun little thing. And Patrick actually, actually sent me, let me move the camera so you can see it. See that contractor's box right there? Uh, that really cool, rusty, crusty contractor's box. Patrick sent that to me in some friend mail that I've showed before. And I'm going to include this in my little contractor's box. So this, this is fun, Patrick. I love that. He also included a Florida map. Now, this is a AAA map, and I just think that this is so cool. Look at the, the beach and the palm trees. I love this. So this is going to be a part of my ephemeral as well. This is just really, really fun. So Patrick has curated such a cool mystery box. I love it, Patrick. It's so fun. And he also sent this ornament, and it's this little vintage television, like the television that I've got in my intro to all of my videos, and it's a little snow scene, and it has a little hanger, so I can put this on my aluminum Christmas tree. How fun is that little vintage TV? I love that. That is just awesome. Oh, Vinny, you are so kind to be worried about that. I haven't opened your box yet, Vinny. That is coming, but I uh, definitely recommend going subscribing to Vinny as well because he puts out some great content. He really does. Now, Patrick also sent some just really cool things in this box, and I love what he sent. So let me pull all of this out. And Patrick is a master packer, let me tell you. <laughs> he is a great packer. But he included these things, and I love this. This is l &R Hairspring Cleaners. But what's cool about this jar is, look, the top has a little Florida lid. <laughs> How cool is that? And this is filled with all kinds of little things. So I'm assuming that this is part of, there's a bunch of small things here. So I'm assuming this is part of a watch chain or a bracelet of some kind. There's, it looks like... There's all kinds of fun little things in here. Look at this, guys. Let me show show you this. I love these things. Do you remember them as a kid? I don't know if I'm the only one that would get excited about these. But when I was a kid, I thought it was so fun to get these and connect them together and make one really, really long uh, pull chain. So these are the things that, oh, bye, Bob. No worries. These are the things that you uh, connect to your... Uh, ceiling fans and pull, but they're also used for other things. So that was really, really fun. And then I also included some neat little keychains. So there's there's a whole variety of small things. Little keychain in here, which is fun. And then another little fan chain. Look at this vintage fan chain. And there is some sort of a, it looks like part of a necklace, I think, that was in here. I mean, these are just fun. Oh, look at these little uh, watch buckles. So there's all kinds of like fun little tiny things in here that are just absolutely really cool. And it's like a miniature little junk jar like Vinny puts together, but with all kinds of fun little uh, doodads and parts and just so me. So I love this. These are amazing, Patrick. He also sent this. Now I cracked up laughing when I opened this because Patrick 
and I have a thing going and we're, we're trying to save all the trunk down elephants. Now, look, we love all elephants. Trunk up elephants are great, but they get a lot of talk in our community because they're supposedly good luck. But we feel sorry for the trunk down elephants that don't get all the luck and love that they should. So thumbs up for trunk down. Patrick sent me <laughs> some amazing trunk down <laughs> elephant cards. Are these not just awesome? I love it. So hashtag thumbs up for trunk down. There are many little elephant cards and they fit two of my little collections because one, they're ephemera, so they're really cool. Three, they're trunk down elephants and four, they're playing cards and they've got the cool uh, graphics that I love. So yes, we got to give all the, the trunk down elephants some love. Love all elephants, you know, don't get me wrong here, but the trunk down ones need our love. So thumbs up for trunk down. And I think these are just really fun. Yes, yeah, so nifty. And Louie saying hello to all of you guys. <laughs> Give love to the trunk down elephants. That's right, Jose, we need to. Now, he also sent some fun little huckster items. This is prepaid sales tax uh, coupons out of Ohio. And I think these are so fun. Look at these. The graphics on this are amazing. So I love these, Patrick. This was in the mystery box. And then he also sent this. And this is a true flight little calibration calculator. And if Debbie from Our Vagabond Travels were here, she'd be able to tell us more about these little uh, true flight calculators. And it's got some really cool paper on the inside. Look at this. And it says additional instructions for true flight, true flight calculator. Use index on center scale of other statue miles, miles per hour, and nautical miles or knots. And then it goes on to determine fuel consumed, uh, scale as gallons, and follow the above procedures. So this is a really cool calculator. And look at the graphics on this. I love these kinds of little things. So Patrick knows me very well. And this mystery box was really fun to receive. So this is a great little gift. And also in the mystery box is some fun diamond strings. Look at this guitar string. So perfect with my uh, music theme. So this is from the National Music String, string Company out of Brunswick, New Jersey. And this is red. And it's music. So this is going to go next to my record player. So that's really fun. He also included a Florida slide. And this is the uh, Kodak Chrome duplicate processed out of New York. And this is a lady. I don't know if you can see that. Can you guys see that? This lady is a bride. And she's sitting on a couch and there's other photos in front of her. Can you see that? Let me see what I can put in front of this. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can see her now. Isn't she fun? I love her. So this is really a fun little thing that will go in my ephemeral as well. And then he also sent this coin. And this is good for five cents in trade. And I believe these are tax tokens, if I remember right. Patrick had these on his channel recently. So these are really fun. So this was a great little mystery box from Patrick. So Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you, Beth. That was a very, very sweet gift to give and send. So I'm glad that I got one of Patrick's mystery boxes. Okay, let's see what's in the chat here. I know, Sarah Lee, Patrick puts together a good box. And so does many other people in our community. We, we have a lot of good mystery box putters together. <laughs> That's not a word, but I just made that up. We have a lot of people that put together great mystery boxes. Fatbird Finds does a fantastic mystery box. In fact, they just had a box that was given by Layman's, Mama Layman, you know, uh, Lara's mom's antique store that had a Lamose Trinket typewriter box in it. That was just amazing. That blew me away. <laughs> Now, the next two items I want to share in this friend mail haul is a really sweet gift from Angela Marksberry. Now, she got these from Mama's Treasures. I don't remember when they have sales. I'm so sorry I don't, uh, but you can look them up on the calendar. And this is a cool piece of advertising. This is Bulldog Medium Steel Wool. And this is awesome because this actually matches my kitchen 
perfectly. I have red, green, and clear glass in my kitchen, and I have a lot of fun, rusty, crusty advertising pieces. So this was really cool. I saw this in their preview, and I told Angela that this was so cool because they had one of those uh, rusty, crusty sales, and I wasn't able to make the sale, and then this showed up. So Angela picked this up for me, and I just love this. Now, it's not a pug, but look at his face. Isn't he darling? The graphics on this are spectacular. I think this is made in Canada. I'm not exactly sure when this is from. Definitely, I think, 50s, because look, look at the outfit on her. I think this is probably 50s, but this is really cool. Love the guy in the little hat, too. So I've got the perfect spot for this in my kitchen, and I've had it in my little friend mail uh, area, so I haven't been able to pull it out for my kitchen yet, but I'm excited to put it in. <laughs> That episode of Fat Bird Finds, I know how generous, right, Sarah Lee Coleman? It was great. Now, Angela also sent this uh, from Mama's Treasures, and it's a little cheese shaker. Now, I love mice, and this guy is just cute. Look at his little face. Isn't he sweet? He's sleeping, hugging his little happy wedge of cheese. <laughs> He's just so fun. I think it's got a stopper, so I'm really convinced this is a cheese shaker. There's two little holes in the bottom. Of course, you could attach a string to it and probably put it uh, hanging up somewhere if you wanted to, but he is so cute, and he probably sits like this maybe on your counter. But look at him. Isn't he just a darling little mouse sleeping on his little wedge of cheese? He's so cute. And they included this fun little note. I love the graphics on this, this little old vintage inspired airmail uh, air letter. And it says, to Katie from Angela Marksberry, Mama's Treasures. So this is such a fun little thing, Angela. I love him. He is darling. He's so cute. Look at him. He's just so happy. And don't we all love our cheese? Goodness gracious, we all love our cheese so much. Cheese and cashews and ketchup potato chips, right? <laughs> Have you ever showed your home with your collections on YouTube? Cindy, I have. I've done actually two videos of my apartment, and I want to do another one soon. So I will be doing another um, home tour soon. I don't know when that will be out because home tours take a while to film, partly because I'm a chatter. And I like to share all the history and information about every item. And in a home tour, that's only 30 minutes uh, because I find that's a really good length for people. I can't do that. So I might try to do like parts, like maybe we can have like the kitchen area and then I could do the living room. So we'll see how I want to do that because I've done them in the past and I really would like to spend more time doing it. I might also do it live. So let me know if you're watching this back. Let me know in the comments how you'd like me to do another apartment tour and if you want me to do it live, because that might be kind of fun. I'm a cheeseaholic, and I love ketchup potato chips. Vinny, you and me both. I got to eat my weight and cheese, particularly blue cheese has become my new thing. And Nate from New Zealand has got me really into digestive biscuits. Now, I've always loved digestive biscuits. They're a sweet British cookie. I know they sound weird, but they're really good. And they're digestive cookies, and you spread blue cheese on them. And they are so good. And if you really want something extra, you can drizzle honey on them, which Nate also suggested and Aaron from the collection Vintage told me about. So they're so good. It might be easier, Vinny. I was thinking a live home tour might be fun. So, guys, if you want that, let me know in the comments down below, and I can do that. And I got proud American into digestives. I did. PA's been eating a lot of digestives. They're great now that I know what they are. Right, PA? <laughs> the only bad thing about eating too much. To yeah, that's true, Vinny. <laughs> Deb says, do it room by room. You think live too. Okay. Well, we'll see how many votes we get. And I, I might do that on one of my Wednesday videos. So we'll see how, how that goes. But I'll definitely be doing another apartment tour because my collections have changed. Uh, not necessarily changed. They've just been rearranged. And I've gotten some new things to display my collections. And so some of those older videos don't really show what I have now. So that's why I'd like to do an updated one. The uh, next item I got 
is from Debbie at Our Vagabond Travels. Debbie is so sweet. She sent this cute little note with a little cactus on the front. Isn't that cute? And she included a little note that says, Katie, thanks for being you. Love, Debbie. Isn't this just awesome? And inside, and look, she has wrapped this up so well. Look at this little package. <laughs> Isn't this fun? I All of you guys take the best time wrapping everything up so well. It's just amazing. And let me get this open. I should have brought a knife over here. You know, <laughs> if I would plan a little bit more, but I think I can get this open. I usually try to open everything in advance so that I don't have all this rattling going on. Uh, but this one, I wanted to show you how pretty it was packaged up. So all of these fun little, I love these little uh, confetti things. Even though they get everywhere, they're awesome. Ooh, I see another ribbon tin. <laughs> one of my main collections is typewriter ribbon tins, and I do not have this one. This is the monogram by Underwood Corporation. How awesome is this tin? Now, this is the half inch. So this is after 1895 when they standardized the typewriter ribbon size because they used to be the big, fat, tall tens, one and one half inch. And this is now the smaller size. So I think this is so cool. This probably is from, I would say, the 50s. And the ribbon is still inside. You don't find these with the ribbon inside very often. How cool is that? Just amazing. Awesome, Debbie. I love this. This is going to go right into my collection. And she also sent another little fun container. These are great. I'm going to reuse these for brooches. And she put a sticker on the front. And let me get this open here. I'm going to put all of that string over on the other side. That way Louie doesn't need it. Because lo and behold, I drop it. It would go in some crevice and then I'd find Louie <laughs> munching on it later. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the bird. Oh, you guys, look at this. I remember this bird from one of her videos, and I said how much I liked it, and she sent it to me. This is this little bird. He's a little duck. Oh, isn't he fabulous? Look at his little Jimmy eye and those pearls. He is so fun, Debbie. Thank you so much. I love him. And Mimi's joining us, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Thank you, Cindy, so much for joining us. I love these. Yeah, the purple is really fun, Vinny. I agree, Vinny and Jose. The purple is great. I have got packages from Debbie. Yeah, they are so sweet. And the letter, Sarah Lee, she does. Okay, we got votes for more of the live tours. Someone saying something was spicy. Ghost pepper chips. Oh, boy, do I have a story about ghost peppers. So my dad lives near a store that actually was the store that, or the company, or the fellows, I should say, that invented ghost peppers. And it's called Pucker Butt. It's in South Carolina, and it is just a fun store to go in. They make all kinds of hot sauces and other pepper-related things. And they had a ghost pepper hot sauce. Now, I didn't have the raw pepper, but they do put it in the hot sauce. So I went in there and I was trying the different hot sauces and I got a little of the ghost pepper sauce. So I'm like, you know, this is so iconic. I want to try it. Well, it's hot and I like spice, but only to a certain degree. And they didn't have any water, which water supposedly doesn't really help you with spice. You need something like milk. You know, they didn't have anything to drink. <laughs> so I had to go next door to the coffee house and get a little something because it, it was so Hot. Hot for me, anyway. <laughs> Hi, First Stop Shop Kathy. Welcome. I'm so glad you are here. Yes, Venny. Pucker butt. <laughs> That's the name of the store. No joke. Hel Hi, Helen Casey. Welcome. Welcome. So this is a really, really cute brooch and a fun little container. Debbie, thank you so much. You are so kind to send these things to me. Another fun gift that came in. Now, this was bought off of Gina's sale, and Gina uh, Vintage Digs and Cat, Calypso Cat, have sales right after my live event on <clears throat> Wednesday night. So, Wednesday night, I believe I get done at 10, is it 
1030. Yes. Yeah, so it's 1030. They start. I also think they have lives on Tuesday. Um, so they do some really great lives. And Tammy Renee Walker sent this to me. And this is so cool. Look at this recording wire. I mean, are the graphics not amazing? I was so excited when I opened this because I'm a sucker for old advertising and it's still got the little wire inside. It looks like it was never used. And the graphics on this, you guys, are incredible. How cool is this? This is from the Sears Roebuck and Company. Oh, I just love this. Awesome, awesome, awesome piece. Oh, and it says, caution, a tight kirk or loop will cause the wire to break under tension. Kink. <laughs> the N is missing. Kink or loop will cause the wire to break, break under tension. To splice, remove kinks or tangled section with, with regular scissors. Then tie ends with a square knot and pull tight. So there's the instructions. <laughs> it is just so cool. This is the neatest little thing because I love all this old advertising and cool graphics. It's got a tin bottom and then the paper top. And this, this definitely has some age to it, probably 40s or 50s. Again, no zip code. So this is really, really cool. Thank you, Cindy. I'm so glad. I thought it would be fun to wear something kind of different and fun. Katie, I love your sealing wax and your little notes with the packages. Always makes my day. Oh, that's so sweet, Sara Lee. Thank you. Yes, I do try to make the packages really, really special. Tia Fane, I have heard that Nancy is doing a little bit better. She did get some shots in her back, but she is still recovering, I think, taking it easy and hasn't had time to do sales because she's been on bed rest. So we all need to keep uh, Nancy at this overstuffed house uh, in your prayers and your thoughts and your well wishes, because I know she's been struggling a lot lately uh, with all of the things going on. So I know she's doing a little better, but not perfect yet. So we got to still uh, go give Nancy some love. Send her a message on Instagram if you can, or an email. Uh, that would really brighten her day. So Tammy, thank you so much for this awesome, awesome recording wire. It is just amazing. Okay. Now, let's see. Anything else in the chat that I'm missing? Nope. I will continue on. And I'm going to put this over here so that I don't get it mixed up with anything. Okay. The next item that I want to show is something that was purchased from me, from um, Alex at Chapter 2 Vintage Co. And Alex has some really, really fun little wrapping. And I wanted to show you the wrapping, so I didn't open it off uh, camera. But this was such a sweet gift uh, from a live sale. And this is a whole package. Look at that. You've got great taste. Isn't that a fun sticker? This is a whole package of vintage maps. Vintage maps. I mean, how awesome is that? So let me show you what's in here. And there are some really cool maps. Now, we might not have time to go through them all. But let me show you these maps here. Now, look at this. American Travel Packet. How cool is that? Look at the car and the first class mail and the graphics on this. Oh, it's just so cool. I just, I love this. And I have an affinity for the American uh, oil sign because there's a big American sign, standard sign still left in St. Louis in the Del Mar Loop. And we drive by it all the time when I go visit family in St. Louis. So I just love that. <laughs> Hi, Ginger Girl Vintage. You noticed a lot of typewriter ribbon tins at the flea. Never looked at them before until I followed you. And now I love them. Oh, I hope you got some, Ginger Girl. They're really cool. And, and you can't just have one. You'll get really addicted, and then you'll want more of them. Uh, so that's awesome, Ginger Girl. I'm glad you got into those. So look at the graphics on this. Oh, it's just stunning. And this is filled with all kinds of maps. And look at this. Humble. And look at the graphics. Happy motoring. Oh, for Ohio. This on the back, oh, look at this, travel with your Humble credit card. I don't know when Humble, uh, well, I, I don't know much about Humble, but I don't know when credit cards came out. 
I think um, I, I saw something about that the other day, but I don't remember the date. Uh, but look at that. Isn't this cool? And then this one's got golf on it. Alabama, Kentucky, and Tennessee. The graphics on these guys oh, are just fabulous. Oh, look at this one with the little tiger. Tiger, you would like this. Tiger Purple, uh, who's now Tiger's Timeless Treasures. Uh, Tennessee, Kentucky. That's uh, Esco. Esso. And look at the little tiger. Isn't he great? And then there's an advertisement on the back for Marriott, Ramada, Howard Johnson, and Master Host Inns. And then you've got the fun map of the United States. Look at these. Just amazing. Oh, look at this one. I, I had to have this one. This is Florida. How cool is that? Florida vacation map. And it's got the Gulf logo on the bottom. Stop at the sign of the orange disc. They don't have that anymore. And on the back... There's some really cool graphics on the back. And this one is for American. And it says the on-spot travel service at all American oil dealers. And then when you open this, it's an expense record. So there's uh, state traffic laws and regulations. So it's kind of like a little handy guide. And then I'm seeing, but I can't seem to get to it. There it is. Use this handy chart to record your trip expenses. So how fun is that? I mean, the graphics on these maps are just so cool. Ontario. Oh, this is Canada. Look, Ontario, Canada. And this would have been 35 cents back in the day. So how cool are these? Michigan. Oh, look at this guy in the hat. Don't you just love him? Oh, how fun. Some of these, I think, are from the 70s. This is 1970s Indiana. And I see Tiger saying that he has some of those. Oh, how cool, Tiger. Isn't that awesome? Tia Fain, have you ever visited the Limp Mansion in St. Louis? No, I have not. But that will definitely be on my list next time I go to St. Louis. I love St. Louis. Yes. Okay. She's she's had therapy for a leg. Yeah, I know, Jose. That's that. I'm just so sorry for Nancy. So many people in our community have been struggling recently, and we definitely need to send some good wishes their way. Oh, my word. Look at the graphics on this, you guys. This is Chevron. Standard Oil. How cool is this? This is the eastern United States and adjacent Canada. There's Esso, again, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and let's see, here's another Florida one. <laughs> These Florida ones are just cool. I don't really have a collection of vintage Florida things, even though I live in Florida, but I have to say these maps are nice. Uh, they're really fun, Indiana and Georgia, and then look at this. Traveling is easy and economical. As you travel, ask us, the American Oil Company. And you get these little packets here. Cool graphics on the back. Now that is just really, really cool. And this person also had a whole bunch of other records in here. So this is the Nielsen. Uh, oh, they had a Buick. So they had a Buick. Let's see. Oh, it's the Buick Company. But I think they had a Ford. Well, that's interesting. Um, anyway, very cool little service record sheet. And there's other, I mean, this would be like a junk journaler's paradise. But, of course, I'm not ripping any of this off. I'm a bit of a purist. I, I like to keep these things together. Uh, this is an installation of the two-way traverse rod. Let's see what this traverse rod does. I think it's for hanging clothes, maybe. Do you guys know what this is for? Because I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, I think clothes. Because look, there's little. it looks like there's little hooks. So this is pretty cool. Love this little uh, graphic and advertising in here. Thank you, Gina Marie. I appreciate that. Hey, Tammy. Sammy, I just showed your friend mail. I love the radio wire or the the speed the. Let me show it again. 
One moment, folks. Let me show that. Oh, I just love that. It is so awesome. And I put it right over here. So let me just pull this from down here. One moment, folks. I gotta, I gotta bend down. <laughs> okay. Let me get that here. Uh, it's gone to the other side, but it's right there, and I can't reach it, but Tammy, I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is amazing. That was such a cool gift. Look at the guy's square jaw. Yeah, I know, Sarah Lee. He is, he's a little fabulous fella. He's a handsome dude. Don't we all love him? Let's admire this guy and gal for a minute. <laughs> Oh, the rod is for curtains. How awesome, Alba. Curtains. Okay, that's great. And then there's also the Haney. Uh, let's see. What is this? Fall schedule. Halftime programs. There's a whole bunch of things on here. It's some sort of a... A school program, I think, because there's a courses in bookkeeping, business math, typewriting, shorthand, plumbing, electric wiring, fast foods, gasoline engine, engine mechanics, general office clerk, bookkeeper. So there's a, a lot of classes, apparently, you can take or uh, schedule. So this was in here with the maps. How cool is this? Very little cool piece of ephemera. And then there's other things in here. This is the Broward Hall Agency of Insurance. This person kept everything. This is a travel guide. Motels, hotels, restaurants, and attractions. My grandmother, let me tell you, my grandmother loved AAA. And she would plan out the best vacations in the world. And she would have all these maps. She'd get them from AAA. She would write everything down. She'd have the hotels marked in a book. I mean, this, this kind of thing was so up her alley, and she was so good at it. So this reminds me a lot of my grandma. And this is from, <laughs> it's a bill from State Farm Insurance. Look at this. And it's postmarked 1978. Look at the stamp on this. So let's see what's in here. Let's look at some insurance. This insurance bill from 1978 was only $78.50. And I, I think that this, I, I doubt that this person has anything that we can't share. Um... I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be sharing this, these graphics here um, with this person's information. I don't know, maybe it's okay. Well, heck, I've already done it. <laughs> so I'm sorry, person, if you're still around today and I'm sharing your information. But cool, cool, cool graphics. Look at the traveler's check. Now, this was in here with the car papers. And then there was a balance due notice. Just some really, really cool ephemera in this um, envelope. And there's something else in here. There's a note. Let's see what this note is, because that's what I want to figure out. Night, uh, Cindy. Thanks so much for joining. This is just some really cool ephemera. Oh, your dad loved the AAA. And he did the same thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Grandma always went to their office. That is true. It is probably very past due, proud American. And this is for the American Motor Oil Club membership application. <laughs> Look at that. And it's still got its original envelope and everything. I think this is just so cool. And, okay, there's more of the curtain rods. And then there's a note here. So let's see what this note says. It's dated August 8th of 1970. Let me see if I can read this. 
that's always the challenge. Uh, it says, would, would like you to send me from, would you like you to send me a map? I need a front row something, Georgia. Oh, I need a front row from Valdosta, Georgia to Franklin, Pennsylvania. Thanking you, thanking you for your travels. Sincerely, need this by August 24th. And then it's something BK King out of Panama City. And then she, well, she wrote her credit card number. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't share this on YouTube, although I doubt the lady still has her credit card number. <laughs> I guess she was mailing in for something, for a map to AAA. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, this is such a, a whimsical lot. Like someone Sarah Lee saying, whimsical lot, random things, but so awesome. And the maps and, and these little ephemera things. I mean, this is just so cool. I just love the graphics on this. These are some really fun things. And they don't do these kinds of things anymore. But I remember going to the airport and being so excited as a kid to get your ticket. You know, the paper plane ticket. And they would have not quite this, but they would have like an envelope. And it and it would have like a little uh, paper passport, you know, for your plane ticket. And it was just so cool. So this is an awesome, awesome lot of ephemera, ephemera that uh, came from Alex's sale as a sweet gift from a uh, subscriber friend so thank you thank you so much i just all oh, these are awesome i love this this is just absolutely amazing thank you thank you so much i love that now, i've got a few more things uh vinnie sent me a really nice box i'm going to open that in just a second we were talking about nancy so nancy from this overstuffed house sent me this amazing tray it is a Coca-Cola tray, and uh, she had messaged me and said it was coming. She says she knows it's not old, but she thought it would be fun uh, to serve drinks on or have uh, a little fun vintage party with this tray. So that's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put it in my kitchen, and when I have uh, friends come over, when things get a little bit better, I'll be able to have friends over, and I can serve them drinks on my fun vintage-inspired Coca-Cola tray. And this was a sweet note from Nancy here that she included. Uh, she said, Katie, no matter how you have felt, you have always been there to mod for my sales and to get my sales started. I know life has been rough for you lately, so I thought this might give you a smile. Nancy K. Nancy, thank you. You are so sweet. Nancy at this overstuffed house has some awesome night owl sales, and I love watching her sales. It's like having a friend. You know, like a late night friend that you're just hanging out with. And it's so awesome. So her sales are typically at 11 o'clock Eastern after Patrick's sales. Of course, she's not been feeling well, as we were just talking about in the chat. So definitely go uh, give Nancy some love. Subscribe to Nancy's channel, This Overstuffed House, and check her out because she is awesome. And send your credit card information through the mail. No, thank you. Right, Vinny? You wouldn't do that nowadays, but I guess I guess back then you would. <laughs> uh, you were supposed to open them on camera so we can see your face. Pre-opening is cheating. Well, I I did just open the the box because otherwise, you know, I would be spending forever opening them. This this next box I'm going to show. I didn't unwrap everything. I just cut the box open. So <laughs> there you go, Tiger. <laughs> So the next box I'm going to show is from Vintage Vinny, and he sent me a wowser box. This box, when it arrived, I was like, holy moly, Vinny, thanks for thinking of me. And Vinny, Vinny's just great. He just pays so close attention to what people in our community like, and he always sends people such sweet things. So this whole box, let me get this out here. If I can lift it, is from Vintage Vinny. Yep, Vinny sent me the most incredible box on the planet. 
So let me open this box here because there is quite a few treasures in here. And I have not really peeked. I mean, I did a little bit, but I haven't really peeked. So let me get this steady over here and open this up. Now, there are two things I ordered from Vinny. So these were on top, and these are two things I got from his sale. The first one is uh, tape. Look at this on kite tape. I just think this is so cool with the yellow graphics. Just amazing. The on kite company, probably from the 40s or 50s. And then this tuck tape 10, cellophane 10. And look, it's got a two digit zip code. So this has to be from uh, the late 40s. Really, really cool. Just awesome. Love this advertising piece with the uh, red color. So Venny, these are going to go definitely right into my 10 collection because these are just so cool. And I love these 10. And yes, Vinny is, Vinny is amazing. He's so generous. He's so kind. Vinny is just tops. He is awesome. I love Vinny. And then uh, he also included this, which is fun. This is an airway attach a carrier. So this is for a vacuum apart, uh, you know, the, the vacuum attachments. And it's got this little carrying handle and this really cool green color. I love this. So I can't wait to do something with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I think this is really, really fun. So I love that. Let me set this over here so it's safe and sound. And then the box continues. <laughs> Vinny, I, I just, Vinny, I'm blown away. You just know me so well and you send the best stuff. Um, Vinny included this bag here. Now, this is pretty cool. This is a vinyl record bag. And look at this. It's got New York on it. And I did kind of see this yesterday when I opened it. So I, I cheated a little bit, Tiger. But this is so cool. Vinny knows I love vinyl and I love New York. So you combine the two things and it's just so awesome. So this is a fantastic bag. This will be great when I go vinyl shopping or flea market shopping or treasure hunting because it's a really nice poly bag and I can keep this in my car and throw my vintage treasures in it. So, Benny, thank you so much. It is really, really, really cool. Yeah, it was so nice of Benny, isn't it? <laughs> so, Benny, Benny is so sweet. He also included these typewriter ribbon tens, which I'm so excited to be adding to my collection. I do not have the Underwood Elliott Fisher. Look at the graphics on that, you guys. How cool is this? This is made in the USA for Royal, and then this is Allied. And look at that seagull on that. Is that not amazing? Well, maybe, I think he's a seagull. What do you guys think he is? He's a bird. He's a fabulous bird. New York, really cool deco font on the back. Look at that. Uh, 13 New York. So that's a two digit zip code. So cool. Vinny, these are awesome. Vinny, Vinny is very thoughtful. Yes, the colors and the design. I agree, Sarah Lee. Things were just packaged better back in the day. Hey, Diane Broadwick. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm glad Diane is here. That is awesome. Okay, what, what else can I pull next? Okay, Vinny, Vinny included a note. He said, I thought this would look great with your typewriter tens. Oh my gosh, Vinny, this is amazing. This is a pinup arcade card. And I know this because Vinny was on my show and tell and he was showing these. Oh my gosh, Vinny, I didn't even know they made a typewriter one. This is a, uh, let's see, Nudoscope card. Just the type. <laughs> How awesome is this one? These little pinup cards are so cool. Vinny, Vinny has got me wanting to start a collection of these. And I already have one, the Station Wow. And I might need to get more of these. That is awesome. I've had that bag for forever and felt it was better in your hands. Well, thanks, Vinny. I love it. And I'm going to put it to very good use because I don't actually have a bag that's dedicated for those kinds of things in my car. And I was just thinking the other day I needed one. So it's perfect. And this is just awesome. I love that, Vinny. 
He also included some little records. I've never admittedly seen these records, so I don't know a whole lot about them. We're going to discover them together. These are from 1951, and they're little John's records. So I think these are like, they're not pocket discs, you know, but they're small little tiny records. Look at this Polly Parrot. Oh, and that yellow color is so cool. This one is Percy the Cat-Faced Dog. Now, I don't know what these spin at. I'm assuming that these might spin at uh, 33 and a third. They do look like the 45 size, but sometimes that's deceiving. And then these are, are green. Look at that now for Christmas. How fun will this be? Jolly old St. Nicholas. This one is I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. Oh, Vinny, these are awesome. These are 1951 and 1952. Oh, these are fantastic, Penny. So I'm going to spin these. I'll, I'll give these a listen, and I'll find out what they, they spin at. They may be 45s, even though they don't have the big hole. They could be 33s, or they could be 78s. You don't know with these little kids' records sometimes. So I cannot wait to see what's on these. Uh, these are fun, and the graphics are awesome. So, Vinny, thank you so, so much. Oh, you have a friend that does pinup photography. Sarah Lee, that is really cool. Yeah, it is, Vinny. The graphics are is just what's amazing to me. The graphics on all those old pinup things, just, oh, they just are so cool. Okay, we're continuing the Vinny box, because Vinny, Vinny just is amazing. The other thing that Vinny sent, oh, how cool is this? This is awesome, Vinny. This is a Avon Radio Perfume Decanter. Look at this. Now, this is just very cool. I have seen these before, and I've never picked them up, but I've always admired them, and I just now I have one of these little radio decanters. This, again, is going to have to go with my, my record collection, Vinny. I, ha I have music-related things near my record player. So this and the guitar strings from Patrick's Box. Oh, this is going to be a great little uh, collection, Vinny. So let me put that carefully over there. And then Vinny also sent me, what is this? Let's see. Oh, Vinny, how cool is this? Now, this is a letter a letter weight and measure. So you, you put your letter in here. In fact, where did, let me see if I can, we'll just pretend. Actually, I've got a letter. Hang on, we can make this work. Let me get this letter here that I, that I got from the traveling map box, the fun little maps. There was a letter in here. Okay, we got a letter right here, and we're going to test this out. So you put your letter in here, and then it weighs it. <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. You put your letter in here, your letter, and then it weighs it, and then you know how much postage to put on it. So isn't that handy? Now, I'm not, I'm not doing this well with one hand, but that is really cool. And it's got a little spot for your stamps. So you put your stamps in here, and then you've got all of this fun little uh, cool office letter gadget right in one little spot. So this is actually very handy, Vinny, and you can still buy rolls of stamps at the post office. So this unscrews, you put your stamps in it. Let's see if I can show that to you. So you put your stamps in it, it unscrews, and then you got your little weight. That is just so handy. I love that, Vinny. This is going to be fun with my little office collectibles. <laughs> Let's see. I have that same one you got from Alex. Oh, how cool is that, Tiger? That is awesome. Yeah, it is really cool. It's so handy. It really, really is. You put your letter here, you put your letter there, you put your letter here, and you shake it all about. You do the letter waiter, and you twist it all about. That's what it's all about. Yes, Vinny. Please, please, Mr. Postman. So that's that's so fun, Vinny. Just amazing. 
and the box continues, folks. <laughs> oh, look at this advertising. Oh, this is from Simon Pure Brewery. Oh, now that's a cool little red uh, coaster. I think these are coasters, little metal coasters. And the great thing about these is I use these because my dog, Louie, likes to knock things off my nightstand. And I have a coaster by my nightstand that I got from Patrick, but it's glass. And I'm terrified. She's knocked it off several times. And, of course, it hasn't broken, but I'm waiting for it to crack. So this is going to be great because this, this will go by my bed. And Louie, if she knocks it over, no big deal. It's metal. <laughs> so thank you, Benny. I love that little treasure. And um, let's see what else is here. Benny sent a oh, haul. This is cool. This is General Electric lamp. Okay, look at the graphics on this. I mean, holy cow. This is really cool. I love this, Benny. And... Yep, I think it still's got the light in it. Let's see. This is for uh, 500 watts. I wonder what kind of uh, lamp this was for. Oh, it's for optical devices. Oh, that is really cool, Minnie. And look, guys, it still is in there. How cool is this? Very industrial. Oh, Vinny, this is just awesome. Okay, this is really cool. It's the little things that make me very excited in life, folks. And these are fun little vintage treasures. And uh, Vinny knows me so well. Okay, there's some other things in here. That was in Trusty's travel box. I couldn't leave that in there. Oh, how awesome, Vinny. So fun. I went out, sold the gun cleaning kit, fed the feral kitties, and got back while listening to you oh. open and goodies. Oh, Tiger, that's, that's amazing. Now, Vinny also was very thoughtful to send me this little English guardsman. And Vinny, I'm telling you, you just know me so well. You know I love my advertising. You got the typewriter ribbon tents, and you know I love all things British. So, I mean, goodness gracious, you're a good listener, Vinny. You're just amazing. And this is a little guardsman wind-up toy. And look at him. Now, I don't know how I can show this. But he winds up and then he waddles back and forth and will do this on your table. Now, he is so fun, Vinny. Oh, I like him a lot. He is great. Okay, let me put this back in the box. Oh, I just think that he is so cute. Look at him. He is awesome. And there are some other things in these fun boxes at the bottom. I just can't wait to see what's in these. Benny, you're doing a good job. You, you, all, all of you guys send me just the coolest things. I feel so spoiled. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. Oh, Benny. <laughs> I always say I got a good Vinny box, but look at this. It's a king. Vinny knows that I love things. I don't know why. I, I don't know where this started. Probably with my grandmother, and we played a lot of Kings in the Corner growing up, so I was around a lot of playing cards. But I have affinity uh, for the, the different designs featuring uh, suits of cards. And I just think that this is so fabulous. This is made in Japan. Oh, how cool is this little ashtray with the king? Oh, that's awesome, Benny. That is so cool. And there's something else in here. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. You guys, it's a mug with the suits of cards on it. Oh, I was just looking at one of these on eBay the other day. Oh, how fun. I'll have my morning espresso out of this, Benny. Oh, this is just fabulous, and it matches a little fun little pair. Oh, that's just so awesome. Thank you, Vinny. I love that. <laughs> I'm telling you, Vinny is a rare breed. He actually pays attention so well, like down to the little nitty-gritty of my collections, because I, I don't think that most people know how much I love things with this, the suits of cards on them. I don't know why. It's, a, it's an odd little thing that I collect and that I like. And Vinny, Vinny's good, man. Vinny's a keeper. 
Okay, so the next thing, oh, that Vinny sent. Oh, this is amazing. Vinny sent me the bottom to the aluminum Christmas tree which is fantastic because I bought an aluminum Christmas tree from Misty Thrifter Junker Vintage Hunter over Christmas. Cheryl Hoskins was so sweet. She actually won it and then gave it up so that I could purchase it because I really, really wanted that aluminum Christmas tree from Misty's store and it didn't have the base. Now, Misty did a great job. She rigged up a really good base for it, but Vinny said he had an extra stand and so he sent it over. Vinny, thank you. This will be so awesome for my aluminum tree. And Jamie, Mid-Century Wasted, and I have been doing some head-to-head -head tree decorating competitions for our aluminum Christmas tree. So there will be another video coming out this Christmas. It's an annual thing, and there is a trophy involved. <laughs> she won last year, uh, but I can't wait to do it again. So, Vinny, thank you. This is amazing. Let me put that in here so we can keep it all together. <laughs> So Benny can get, uh, your ex-husband can get trained. Benny, yes, I'm still unboxing. <laughs> oh, Tiger, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Okay, so Benny also sent over a little gramophone. Oh, look at him. And he is... Art Mark, he's Art Mark Japan. Little gramophone, salt and pepper shaker. Oh, these are fabulous, Vinny. These, are, I think there's another one in here. Let's see. These are so fun. These are going to go perfectly on my table in the center of my island with my salt and pepper shakers. Well, I don't have salt and pepper shakers for the center of the island with my glass is what I meant to say. I have a collection of glass. So this is amazing. Just amazing, Vinny. Goodness. I'm telling you, Vinny knows me so well. Vinny, Vinny has killed it. Okay. I'm, I'm moving things around so that we don't break anything here. <laughs> I hate voting at the end. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to breathe with your tailpipe, Manny. No, you don't. So you might as well vote for Jamie at Vincent Wasted. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, now there's a few other things in here. Let me get this out. Vinny, Vinny does a really good job wrapping. Vinny, Vinny is awesome. Oh, and I should have brought my knife. Um... Let's see how I can do this. I should be able to open this. Okay. Now, folks, let's see. There's a fun mystery to unwrapping, unwrapping this. Being very ginger. Okay, we got it out. This is wrapped so well. Vinny did a good job. Hey, Beth, Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. Thank you for joining. I, I just joined in in Beth's uh, collaboration, uh, the $10 Thrifting Challenge. So if you've not seen those videos, definitely go check it out because it was a lot of fun to participate in that. Okay, let's see what this is. I'm excited. I, I feel it. I just don't know what it is. I want to say it's a chip and dip set because I feel something in the middle, but I don't know. Okay, let's get that out here. Oh my goodness, Vinny. This is amazing. Oh my goodness, look at this depression glass plate. Wow, I wonder now, would a flower frog would have gone in this or do you use this for uh, dip and crackers? I don't know, but this is gorgeous. Now, it kind of has the blank shape to me of Ellie Smith. But again, with all of these Depression-era plates, when you get into this um, cutting uh, on this with the flowers, this is wheel cut. So 
this was probably a blank that was sent out to jewelry stores and then and department stores too did this and then they would have put the wheel cut flower design on it later so unless you can identify the blank it is sometimes hard to identify these flowered pieces i have a lot from my grandmother that i've been trying to identify and we just there, there's no way to figure it out really unless you can figure out the blank but this blank does kind of look like ellie smith i could be wrong but it is just gorgeous Look at this, just beautiful. Oh my God, I've been dying. I couldn't type because I was driving. How amazing. I'm telling you, Vinny, Vinny is, Vinny is a keeper. <laughs> we're we're going to keep Vinny. I, I definitely think Vinny did such a good job. And there's one more thing in this box, folks. Well, maybe two more things. Hang on. <laughs> Let me, let me figure this out. Let me put this over here so that it's safe. I don't want this to get broken. So let me let me reach over here. Oh, Vinny, that is just gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Vinny knows I like my depression. Vinny has like hit every single one of my collections in this box. Oh my gosh, there's still more in here. Oh, Vinny, okay. Let's, let's do this. Let me, it's hard doing these things live. Okay, let's get this out. I'm going to put this here. And there are several things at the bottom. Oh, look what this might be, folks. It might be a Coca-Cola tray. I'm thinking, then he's got this wrapped up so well. Benny, there is more at the bottom. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, well, I, I don't feel like I deserve it all, but I feel very much loved and special. And and thank you guys all. I mean, there is still more to open, folks. I, I don't have the words sometimes, uh, but I feel so loved and so spoiled. And this community is amazing. Okay, so let's open this up. I again, should have brought my knife over here but I think I can do this one-handed. Oh, yes, this is a fabulous Coca-Cola tray. Oh, my gosh, Vinny. I don't have the Betty girl. Oh, this is the Betty girl. Okay, let's get her out. Oh, this is an original of the Betty girl. Vinny, amazing. Oh, she is so cool. And I, I she's from 19 oh, oh, that's escaping me. But look, it's got the uh, trademark and the swerve of the sea. Oh, she is so cool. I have the little tip tray, but I don't have the big tray of her. She's got the green back. Oh, she is amazing, Vinny. Just amazing. Oh, she's going to be a great addition to my collection. Yes, 1914. Oh, Vinny, how awesome is that? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy moly. And there's more in the bottom, folks. I'm telling you, Vinny, Vinny is just, uh, I don't have enough words, Vinny. Uh, okay, let's see what other treasure. There is some more cool things down here. Oh, my goodness. Vinny's got this wrapped up so well. Okay. No, I don't want this to break. Oh, I remember these, Vinny. I messaged Vinny about this. <laughs> this is a coffee, a paper coffee sack, RKO coffee. And this is cool. This checks another one of my weird things that I collect. I don't know why I'm attracted to things with vintage lightning bolt graphics. Don't ask me. I mean, it's like the playing cards. I don't know how it got started, but I have an affinity for things with vintage, like these these kind of stylized lightning bolts. And I have like several uh, advertising tins that have these that were like, and you know, battery cleaners or whatever. And and I saw this in one of Vinny's hauls, and I said, "Oh, Vinny, I would love to buy that from you because it's so cool." And then he just sent it to me. <laughs> How sweet are you? This was from the United Wholesale Grocery Store. Oh, this is just fabulous, Vinny. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no wonder you asked me for that coffee bag. Yes, I have a thing for the lightning bolts. I don't, don't ask me where that started or why. I just do, and I think that they're awesome. Oh, my gosh. Betty, you are so sweet. So, a few haul videos ago on Vinny's channel. Now, this, this has got to have been at least five months ago. How did you remember this, Vinny? That's what I want to know. He had this sign, and he bought it uh, at a vendor mall, I think. And I commented and said, oh, this is so cool and industrial. And then here it is in my box. Vinny, you, just no words. Just amazing. This is going to be fun to put up somewhere in my apartment. <laughs> I love that. Oh, my gosh. That is so fun. And then there's a few other things Vinny has included here. Vinny, Vinny is thoughtful. Vinny is so thoughtful. Okay, I'm putting the coffee bag back safely in its little protective pouch. Okay. <laughs> This is just amazing. A Vinny box. And I always say, Vinny, when I get boxes from you, I always tell Louie, because I tell Louie everything, right? I say, Louie, this is a Vinny box. You can't chew it because Vinny boxes are the best boxes. And we reuse your boxes. I mean, I reuse everybody's boxes, but you have good, strong, sturdy boxes. And so if you get a Vinny box from me, it's because I've reused it from Vinny because I think it's a good box. So I always I always say this is a Vinny box, Louie. We can't we can't chew this one up. This is amazing. Okay, let me see if I can get this open here. Now look at this. He's done such a good job wrapping this up. And there's an album on the inside here. This is just so cool. Okay, um, I should have brought a knife. <laughs> it's the best Christmas ever, Cindy. It is. Your Walmart boxes, well, they're good, Vinny. They are good boxes, I'm telling you. Really, really good boxes. I should have brought a knife, and I just didn't think about it. Next time, I will plan a little bit better. Okay, let's see what's here. All right. This is just taking me a minute, folks. <laughs> I usually plan ahead, um, but I didn't get the get the knife. But Vinny has wrapped this up so well. Let's see. I think I can. There we go. Let's work this edge. There. Now we're cooking with Mazzola. That's what my friend would say. Now we're cooking with Mazzola. <laughs> so Vinny has sent... A Puss in Boots Playtime Record. 98 cents. Look at the graphics on this. How fun is this? And this is an unbreakable record. And I've never seen a record that comes in a sleeve like this with the, the envelope style flap. So that is pretty cool. Oh, this is red. <laughs> this is cool. This is a, probably because it's advertising unbreakable, this would be a 33 and a third. And this is uh, not quite a 10 inch, uh, not quite a 12 inch. So this is a 10 inch. It's probably an EP, extended play vinyl, I would assume. And it's red. <laughs> How cool is this red vinyl? Just awesome. This is on Caravan, which I, I think Caravan did a lot of kids records. Let me get this back in here. This is really cool, Vinny. Just so cool. I'm trying to handle the record properly. For all of these vinyl folks that will be watching me, they're probably yelling at me. You're manhandling that record with your fingers. But I am going to give it a good clean on my spin clean. I'm trying to get it back in here so that it stays protected, but it's hitting something in the bottom. Sometimes that happens when you're putting uh, albums back in sleeves. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's why I didn't get it get it uh, on the right side here. There we go. Now we're all set to go. This is really cool, Vinny. That is just amazing. Look at the graphics on this, you guys. 
this is oh and it's from um muset records they they do muset publishers they do some kids records too and let's see this is a musical story narrated okay so it's probably not an ep i i just assume that it's a 10 inch it's not a 12 inch this is really really cool so awesome 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 vinnie i love this and then vinnie also sent this which is just to die for it is so cool and i'm trying to get it open here but i don't have my knife <laughs> I could go get up and get it, but I've, I'm kind of packaged in here. <laughs> so I don't want to um, mess this up, uh, mess up my little setup over here. What's Vinny saying? <laughs> the vinyl uh, was playing stubborn on me too. Yeah, so you had the same issue. Well, it's no big deal. I just had to get it back in the sleeve, but it is very, very cool. Yeah, good for Halloween, Vinny. That is, that is so true. Okay, I'm almost into this last thing that Vinny sent me in the box. And I wanted to say that that coffee sack is going to be awesome in my ephemera bowl. I might have to get up, break down, and get the <laughs> the uh, scissors. I, I should have planned ahead, folks. I didn't. Okay, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> We're cooking with Mazzola now, as my friend would say. We're almost into it. And I don't want to break the glass, so I'm just being very ginger. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Gonna need a brooch with an attached knife. You know, that's what I need to get for friend mail openings. You know, I just pull off my trusty brooch. Imagine, Angela, if that were something that you would do uh, if you were like a secret uh, ops person, you know, or like a spy. You could have like a little brooch that had a camera in it, and then you could wear another brooch that had uh, a knife in it. That would be really cool. Someone needs to invent that. All right. Now we got it. We're doing well, folks. Oh, my word, is this not the coolest thing on the planet? This is a really cool graphic. Oh, and I see one with a lightning bolt. Oh, this is so cool. These are blades. This is the coolest thing. These are actual razor blades, shaving blades in here. Are they shaving blades? One's... I think so. Yeah, razor blades. Look at these. How cool is that? So Vinny has framed these all. I, Vinny, did you frame all of these? Or did your dad frame them? I know that his dad collects um, all things related to shaving. That's one of the things his dad collects. Look at this, guys. There is the dynamic blade with the lightning bolt. How cool is that? And this one, look at the Whippet. That would be perfect for Erin at the Collection Vintage because she just got a little Whippet. There's, oh my gosh, the graphics on these are amazing. Look at this Navy brand. Oh, wow. Sportsman with the little dogs up at the top. Dunlap. Look at the, the font on that one with that, that anchor. Oh my gosh. These are just really, really cool. Yeah, you need to start an ephemera bowl. I, I think I've maybe gotten people on that, but it's awesome because it's a great way to store a bunch of ephemera. I had my dad. Oh, Vinny, your dad made this for me. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this is so thoughtful. This is going to go in my bathroom. It matches my bathroom perfectly because it's got those same green colors. And, it, and, of course, the red. I mean, Vinny, I don't, I, I just, you're amazing. You are absolutely amazing, folks. Are you seeing this live on camera? <laughs> Your dad did a great job, Vinny, and please thank him for me. And, of course, a big thank you for this amazing, amazing box, Vinny. You did a wonderful job. You just you knocked it out of the park. You are amazing. So, Everybody, go subscribe to Venny. He is awesome. Vintage Venny here on YouTube. I know Gina Marie. That's my reaction. 
So sweet. Yes, a MacGyver brooch. That's what we need, Diane, a Mac MacGyver brooch. See, I don't have the words. Venny, thank you so much. Everybody, make sure you subscribe to everyone that I've uh, mentioned throughout this chat. I've got a few more friend mail packages to open. I want to make sure we finish in time for my show and tell. So I got to get moving here, folks. But uh, th these are amazing treasures. I, I am beyond spoiled. So thank you. Thank you so much. This next package uh, came from Kim at Oh My Vintage. And I think this was a gift. Let me read the little note here. And look, I just wanted to show how well Kim packages things. Look at those flowers. Just amazing. So Kim wrote a little note. She always does such a good job. I'm glad you're my friend. So cute. And she says, Dearest Katie, how are you? Here's some friend mail that Christine at Side Street Market got for you at my live sale. This will be a great book to add to your reading collection when you do your story time live on your channel. And I remember this from the live sale. So, Christine, thank you so, so much. You are very kind. Everybody always thinks of me with these things. Hi, Christy Garza. How are you doing? Yeah, Kim's handwriting is so neat. And Vinny is too. Vinny's got some neat handwriting. Oh, just amazing, amazing things. So this was a book, and of course, she's got this wrapped up so beautifully. Okay, so let me open this up here. This is a book that's going to be really, really fun to read on my channel. And, oh, yes, this is a Ellery... Ellery Ellery Queen, The Last Score. It's a little 50 cent book. And this, this is, I, I've seen the little kangaroo. So let me open this and show this to you. She's got this wrapped so well. And Christine, thank you for thinking of me because I always need more books to read on my channel. I didn't have a book reading this Monday, but I will be having one next Monday. This is such a cool book. This is the first printing. So this is the first edition from 1964. Yes, the little pocket book. That's what I was trying to think of. Pocket book with the little kangaroo. Look how awesome this is. So let's see what it says. Had girl will travel. Reed Rance was a travel agent. The kind who would take you where the tourists seldom went. But when Mrs. May Gibson asked him to cheapen her wild daughter, Leslie, around Mexico, he begged off. Why me, he asked. Because you're a police officer once, she answered. And Leslie won't be able to shake you off. Rance wanted no part of the deal, but he was behind in his rent. And Mrs. Gibson owned the building. In fact, Mrs. Gibson owned just about everything and everyone in Greens Grove. Besides, Leslie was a stunner. It wouldn't be easy, Rance warned Mrs. Gibson, and it wasn't. Within two days, Leslie had disappeared from the Mexican hotel, and her place went into a note demanding 5000 or else. Oh, that's going to be fun to read. Woo, saucy, look at that little lady on the front. Wowza. <laughs> This is fun. I can't wait. Yes, a boobaroo, Penny. Yes, a boobaroo. <laughs> a boobaroo. Well, it kind of goes with the lady on the front. <laughs> I just got a little book from Kim's live sale. Her little notes are so sweet. Well wrapped. Yeah, Kim, Kim is awesome. And speaking of Kim, I'll be having a live sale with Kim next Tuesday, next Tuesday. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it will be at six o'clock Eastern, I believe. So you want to stay tuned for that. Yes, uh, I did. I showed your little mouse, Angela. He was darling. He's so cute. I love Angela's little mouse she sent. He was so cute. Look at him sleeping on a little cheese. He's a little cheese shaker. He's just darling, Angela. I love him. And I showed your bulldog, Steel Wool. <laughs> so fun. Okay, a few more packages here. And I did cut this one open so that I could uh, open it a little easier. This is such a sweet gift. This came from Christina. Uh, she was on my show and tell. She's got a great YouTube channel, Lilacs Vintage Life. And she said, thanks for having me on your show. She got this from 
Melanie, Serendipity by Melanie, that's been having brooch sales. And this is a fabulous little piano. Look at him. I was just talking about how fun it would be to have more brooches for uh, my, my vintage uh, vinyl videos that feature music. And my grandmother was a piano teacher. She was a music major and she's got a beautiful Steinway baby grand in her house that she saved up right after music school for, and it's her pride and joy. And so this is just absolutely gorgeous and such a great honor to my grandmother and a special, special brooch from Christina. And she included such this nice note. And I believe in the chats, uh, she was Christina Galinowski. But now she is, I think, Lilac's Vintage Life in the chat. So definitely go check her out. Beautiful little note from uh, Canada, all the way from Canada, from uh, Serendipity by Melanie's Sale. Hi, BJ, BJ Duke. <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Cindy says, looks like a Liberace piano. Yes, very Liberace. Misty would like that. We need, we need to find her some more Liberace things. I was thinking Liberace too, but then I remember wrong channel. <laughs> yeah, Tiger, that's right. Another sweet gift came in from a book, Book Bewitched. Now she sent this fabulous, wonderful industrial, uh, it's a sewing uh, apparatus. So you put your spool of thread on here and you run it through here. And it's just really, really cool. And there is on the side, this is dated 1899, 1899 folks. This is amazing. And it's got the holes to mount this to your sewing machine. Now, admittedly, I don't sew, but I have right behind me. I don't know if this is going to show up on camera. Probably not. But right behind me, if I move my arm a little bit, you can see. There you go. My grandmother's 1916 Singer sewing machine. My great grandmother's 19 Singer sewing machine. So this is going to be a perfect addition with this. So I'm so excited about this. And Book got this from, uh, from Book Bewitched. And she got this off of Sandra, the Pink Elephant Parlor sale. Now, Sandra has sales, I believe, on Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern. So go check her out. And that was just so, so sweet. That one was some music note pen brooches around it. Yes, that would be awesome, wouldn't it, Beth? Oh, no, I have not watched Liberace's a &E biography. How awesome is that? So that was a very sweet gift from Book. Now, I've also got some packages here. This one is from Patty Waters. Patty Waters, I believe she's in the chat. And it came in this really, really fun bubble mailer. So just awesome. Opening it here. Okay. And there's a little card. <gasps> It's a typewriter tonight. I don't have this one either. You guys really pay attention to which ones I don't have. Keylox Ivory Brand. Look how beautiful this tin is. And it's the half inch size, but it's the smaller one. Oh, and I meant to open some of these and see who made them. Sometimes you can tell on the side that, yep, sure enough. I knew it. This one's made by Decorated Metal. Decorated Metal, uh, they made a lot of the typewriter ribbon tins after uh, the 1900s. So they made a ton of typewriter ribbon tins. Oh, that's exciting. And she included such a sweet little card. So let's open this card here. See what it says. Ooh, so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that fun? That just makes me so happy. She says, hi, Katie. I saw this and thought of you and your collections. I hope you don't already have it. I don't. I don't have it. And if you just add to one, if not, just add it to one of your sales. Oh, I already don't have it. So it's perfect. Uh, love you and your channel. Stay safe. Patty Waters. That is Oh, Red Rooster Relics. That's right. Red Rooster Relics is Patty Waters. Red Rooster Relics is on Instagram. I don't know if she's on YouTube, but she was in the booth, uh, a nearby booth, I believe, at uh, Patrick's Antique Mall, where he used to sell 
oh, gosh, I he's talked about it a lot, and I don't remember the name, but in Illinois. So definitely go check her out, Red Rooster Relics on Instagram. Uh, I follow her account. She has some really cool things. She just sold some awesome furniture, too, mid-century furniture. So, Patty, thank you. I don't have this. This is just so awesome. Okay, a couple of more packages here, and I'm, I'm really watching. Rustic Fox, there you go. Jeez, Angela, I, I got I to gotta remember things a little bit better. The Rustic Fox, yes. He was quite the showman, that's for sure, Tia Fane, definitely. Hi, I for Eclectic Vintage Finds. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you are here. This package is from Tiger, and Tiger, bless your heart, you have been waiting for so long for me to open this. Tiger, I hope you are still here. I'm so sorry that uh, I did not open this sooner, but there's been so many wonderful things to open. So Tiger included this sweet little note. Look at the little tiger stationery. Oh, that's so cute. Tiger. Oh, and look, it's got a little tiger. Now, see, it's the small little details that amuse me and just make me so happy. You guys brighten my day. I would have watched anyway. Okay, Tiger, very good. Oh, Tiger sent such a nice note. She says, hi, Katie. You mentioned that you needed a tiger. This is better than just a dumb tiger. This is a tiger's eye. That, that was my photography business name, and it is from Western Germany. So am I. I hope it fits your collection and that you like it too. Even though it seems you have another brooch like it in your collection, but this is a German tiger. Thank you for all you do, tiger. Aw, Tiger, what a sweet note. I save all of your notes, guys, all of them. I never throw a note away because they're so special. And Tiger's got this fun little box. It is silver. It is amazing. I don't have a Tiger, Tiger. I don't. Oh, this is beautiful. I love Tiger's eye. Tiger, oh, my gosh, this is stunning. Look at this. Wowza. Oh, and it's got its little German mark. Oh, Tiger, thanks so much for thinking of me. I love this. I love this so much, Tiger. Oh, that's okay. I know that you would have used your purple pen and spirit. <laughs> so it's okay. It is so me. It is so me. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, Tiger. And look at the filigree work on that. Let me take this comment off. It is Cindy and Christy. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's just stunning. Tiger, thank you. That is gorgeous. And I might be able to rock two brooches today. <laughs> Oh, that is just so beautiful. Tiger, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. This is just amazing. Amazing, Tiger. Thank you so much. Oh, I love that. I can't wait to wear it. Yeah, it's very sharp, and it's going to be beautiful with my brown hat. I just got a Stetson brown hat that's going to match that gorgeous. Yes, with a brown or orange jacket. I know, Beth. It's so perfect. It's so perfect. Oh, Tiger, I love it. I will definitely be rocking it. This next package came from Gabrielle Lish. She has been asking me if I got this, and I did. And Gabrielle had messaged me that she had these little things, and she wanted to send them to me. And she wrapped it up so well. She put a little layer of protection, and she included, let me get this out here again. Should have brought my knife. Next time I will do that. She sent me an email about these, and I said, yes, I would love these because I love little things that go into my printer's trays. I'm always looking for tiny things. My printer's trays are kind of the equivalent of Vinny's junk drawers. Let's see. She has done a beautiful job taping this up. So here I am uh, really needing a knife. <laughs> Okay, let's. I hope I don't have to go hit the knife. I, if I'm strong enough, I should be able to get this open. Hi, Mel. Mel's coming in from Finland. I just see Mel popping into the chat there. Okay. <laughs> Katie, come on now. Get it together. <laughs> Hi, Mel. 
Yes. Okay. I'm almost got this out, guys. So, again, should have brought a little um, knife over here. I just I wanted to show you guys some of the packaging. And it looks like she included a note. And I'm sorry, Gabrielle, but I, I might have just torn your note. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. I see there's a note, but Gabrielle, I am so sorry. Uh, I, I had to, I should have gotten scissors, but I think it just has two Katie from Gabby. Anyway, she included this these uh, renewal flints. These are torch lighters. And they're really cool. I love this um, packaging. And they're so little. And they're perfect for my printer's trays. So I love these. <laughs> you, Venny, you've got to show your junk jars. And I know that you've showed them in videos. But, like, really show them. Because I am mesmerized, for one, by all the little things. I love little smalls. I can't help it. I love smalls. And these fun little things are the kind of things that would be perfect in a junk jar or in the printer's trays because they're so small. So, Gabrielle, thank you. I did get the 10. She's been asking me about it, and I shared it today. So I'm glad you were hopefully able to watch the replay if you're not and uh, do that and catch me opening it. This is another sweet gift that came all the way from Canada. Now, I love Lyrics Vintage. I've talked about Lyric before. I follow her on Instagram, and she has some amazing things for sale. She just does. A lot of that rusty, crusty, cool advertising. And um, this is an amazing thing she sent. So she said, Katie, a little something extra for all your support, Lyric. So that is so cool. She's got great packaging. She wraps everything so well. It's not that expensive to buy from Canada from her. And it is a skeleton key to go in my key collection. And I actually have a vintage, I think it's Ilco is how you say it, key display from the 1940s that would have been in an old hardware store. So I've actually been hanging all of my keys in there, the larger ones. And then I have a few in my printer's trays. So this is really awesome. So thank you, Lyric, so, so much. I appreciate it. And we've got a few more packages here. And then I want to make sure I get to my own show and tell, which is next at 9.30. So uh, I've been on for a while. This is a sweet gift from Lisa Day. And Lisa's in all of the chats. Hey, Nate. How are you doing? I, oh, you just got home from work. Well, I hope you get a good di uh, digestive biscuit <laughs> with some uh, delicious blue cheese and a drink. You deserve it. <laughs> All right, so let's see what came from Lisa Day. This is such a sweet little package here. I'll make sure I got it all. Oh, she sent typewriter ribbons. Oh, my goodness. You guys just know me so well. So sweet. Look at this note. Look at the little guy with the flowers. Doesn't he make you just so happy? He makes me so happy. A kind heart always does a little extra, and it says, I enjoy watching your content. You are so sweet and caring to all. Love, Lisa. Enjoy your goodies. Lisa, I sure will. Aren't these things fantastic? And these little notes. Again, I save every one of the notes you guys send me. Just amazing. And look at this. Oh, it's such a happy little bag of goodies. Okay, let's see what's in here. I'm so excited about all these typewriter ribbon tins. Oh, and a brooch. I almost missed it. There's, oh, a little deer. Okay, let's set this up here. Hang on. <laughs> Readjusting, folks. Okay, we've got this little deer pen. Look at them with their little cotton tails. They're kind of like deer and bunny combined. I just love this little guy. He's so cute. He would also go great on my shirt. I need like a whole little fabulous collection of brooches here. And then this typewriter ribbon 10, Elsie Smith and Corona. And this is cool because I think, let's see if I can see the side. No, I think Decorated Metal made this one. 
But this has some really, really, really cool graphics. And then this Miller line, I love Miller line. And this is a different 10 than the one that I have, an Old Town product. Look at the little stars on the back. Wouldn't that be great for 4th of July? And again, I'm looking on the side, probably Decorated Metal or American Can Company. One of them made these because the tens were made separately from the ribbon themselves. So I just think this is so cool. So Lisa, thank you for thinking of me. And she sent Jello. Oh, these are so great. Again, Jello has become kind of iconic. Let's see, this has got to be an antique. I think that this is an antique Jello book. This is a litho out of, let's see, it's Buffalo. Niagara Litho Company out of Buffalo, New York. I'm looking for a date, but I definitely think this has some age to it. Oh, yeah, this, this has got to be at least from the 40s. Look at that. America's most famous dessert, 10-cent package. And look at the graphics in here, you guys. Look at these little babies. Christy's going to love them. They're little babies. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, these will be fun. Let's see. Jello and fruit. Oh, <laughs> Look at this little girl. Oh, she she's she's like, give me the jello. The jello is all mine. I must have all the jello. <laughs> she's got such a funny face. And then look at this birthday party. Nan is six years old, and Mama and Bobby are giving her a party. And what a dinner Mama has prepared. Just now she is serving jello course, and there is no mistaking the children's approval. <laughs> Nineteen ten, yeah. I was gonna say, Vinny. These, I believe, are antique. I really do. And and there's no zip code. So these, I mean, look at the telephone. That tells you everything right there. So I, these have got to be antique. And let me see. Oh, oh yeah. Look, gold medal, uh, Jello. It says gold medals have been awarded to Jello in St. Louis of nineteen o four. Wow, you guys, how amazing is this? And there's more. This is Jello Rhymes. Look at the little duck. The little duck on here. This perfect package brings Jello to you fresh and it's packed at the factory. Oh, look at this. Look at this little girl. Isn't she sweet? Oh, this one's eating Jello. I don't know what's in that. Let's see. Jappy Jello Compote. Pour half a cup of peach juice into a pint measure, fill with water, and let uh, continue to boil and dissolve a package of lemon or, lemon or orange jello. Add one cup of cooked rice. Cooked rice. Okay, this is where this is going very south very quickly. <laughs> Cooked rice. No. Pour half into a dish and set to harden. Place six or seven halves of peaches into the jelly rice. Mm. Ah, serve with meat. No, 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 no. And then it says add whipped cream. Oh, boy. Okay, so this one is one we're trying on the channel for sure out of this antique jello book. What are these people doing? I'm just fascinated with these. Look at this girl. It's like the old woman that lived in the shoe. And they're all coming out of a little shoe house to eat a giant thing of jello. This is hilarious. This is so funny. Are these nursery? These must be nursery rhymes and jello. Yeah, I think they're nursery rhymes. Yeah, because there's the old woman that lived in the shoe. There's, I don't, oh, Humpty, is this Humpty Dumpty? Yes, Humpty Dumpty set on the wall, watching how jello is made. Add water not cold, then pour into a mold, and then put to cool in the shade. Oh my gosh, I love these. This one is Simple Simon, Meta Pyman, going to the fair. 
with plenty of jello, lucky fellow to lead the children there. Have you ever seen something like this? This one, little Jack Horner sat in the corner about to eat Christmas pie. He and his mom brought him jello, rich, rich, sweet, and mellow, far better than tummies say I. Okay. Oh, these are great. Okay, this one is a diller, a dollar, a 10 o'clock scholar. What made you come so soon? Back home you go, you surely know that jello is served at noon. Oh, these are so great. I I would love to get some of these framed because these are so cool. And then there's this one. Today, what salad, what dessert? Jello brings dozens of answers. Jello brings a lot of answers that we all are very curious about. We want the answers to why Jello. <laughs> Shower salad. Oh, boy. One package of strawberry Jello. A dash of salt, canned pineapple, apple, pared and diced, and three man maraschino cherries. Now, you know, that sounds pretty okay. But then do you see what's at the bottom? Crisp lettuce. Crisp lettuce and jello do not belong together. No, no, no. Okay, this one is jello salads. A sensation whenever they are served. No, I don't think that they're a sensation. They're more of an interesting, interesting thing. They'll run your guests away. No, I'm just kidding. Anyone that ate Jello and liked it back in the day, this is no offense to you. I have just tried some of these, and they—they're not—they're not my favorite. <laughs> Jello is the answer. I thought it was ice cream. Yeah, one of our traditional foods is meat jelly. It's awful, Mel says. Oh, that's a Finland thing. Head cheese is the meat and aspect I've had before. Now, Nate, that might be good. I'm willing to... <laughs> Vinny, I knew you were going to make a comment on that. <laughs> but that sounds... That might be good. I don't know why those jello molds with all that stuff. And then they move. Yeah, I know. The worst is that they jiggle. They really, really jiggle. <laughs> What's an English thing? Oh, yeah, head cheese. Very, very English. Yeah, I bet I bet that's good. I got to give that a try. So there are some fun things. This supreme salad has lemon jello, salt, a dash of cayenne pepper, really, and jello. No, nope, already nope. Cabbage, stuffed olives. Apple tart, and again, what's with the crisp lettuce? <laughs> I don't know, but these books are amazing, these antique jello books. 1928, guys, this is from 1928. Are you seeing this? Uh, and the strawberries on the front, I mean, these are amazing. Amazing, Lisa, just amazing. So Lisa sent me these fabulous antique jello books. I can't wait to display these. These are amazing. Now I've got, I've got, <laughs> I've got one more package to open. So Lisa, thank you so much. And the next thing that I have is I believe from Kim again. <laughs> Let me see. Beautiful wrapping with that washi tape. And let's see what's inside here. Hang on, folks. Momentary live stream mishap. <laughs> Pamela13 says, sounds like the jello from hell. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's an interesting jello. <laughs> okay. We're just a little, little packed in here. So I want to make sure I save this note. This is from Kim. Kim just has the best notes. She says, Dearest Katie, how are you? There, uh, Thank you for your continuous support and my live sales. I truly appreciate it. I'm so happy this cookbook is going to a good home. Oh, I remember this. Yes, I bought this cookbook, Fun Magic. And she says, also, don't forget to check out the fun flip book on the corners of all the pages. Enjoy and see you at my next YouTube live sale. So Kim, thank you so much. Look at this packaging, just cool. 
and it's a good thing to end on because we're we're on the the cooking theme here. So Kim just does a good job wrapping everything up. Beautiful wrapping. And this is so fun. I remember this magic uh, cookbook. So this is the magical, amazing Jello desserts. So if antique Jello wasn't enough, we have more Jello. And this is from 1978. Magical Jello. And there. There's fun little flipping uh, designs that go on the outside. See the rabbit there? Let me see how I can show this to you on camera. Watch the bottom. So can you can you see that okay, guys? There's a rabbit on one of the corners of the pages. He's just not showing up well. Okay, so this is a really cool Jello dessert book. This one is an Easter egg surprise. <laughs> oh boy, I am in for a treat. There's, where's the? Oh, it's the other direction. Is the rabbit? There's a rabbit on the bottom. See, on the other side. So that's fun. So this has gelatin. Milk. What else is in here? Food coloring. Pistachio frosting. Coconut. <laughs> Jelly beans. Yeah, very, very <laughs> interesting recipe. <laughs> so that, oh, there's a pumpkin for Halloween. Let's see, we'll have to make the pumpkin. Now, these do look pretty good, these little uh, gelatin jiggles, because I like plain jello. Like, jello without anything in it, it's good, and I like marshmallows. So that, so that might be an actually good-tasting recipe. Here are smiling snacks we got. <laughs> what else is fun in here? I saw something up with kids' faces. Let's see where that is. Um... Hocus Pocus Banana. So all the Jello delights in this fabulous Jello book from Kim. <laughs> so fun. Hi, Daniel. Tacky is me. Yay. Claps hands like a schoolgirl. What are we clapping about, Nate? I must see. Okay. I'm missing some things. Christy said something to Nate. <laughs> Kim has the best handwriting. She does, Chad, and the best wrapping. Cucumber jello in a martini before it. Was that any good, Nate? I want to know. Yeah, Louie's taking a nap in the kennel, kennel mel, because if I if I let Louie out right now, the, this she would eat everything. So she's she's in the no cucumber jello. She would eat everything, Mel. Yeah, no cucumber jello for me, Gina. I'm sorry. I I, I just don't care for cucumbers. I'm not a big fan. Oh, the infamous pistachio version. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Yes, it's a. this is a 1950s Pell, P-E-L brooch with the grapes. Lots of fun. I'm thinking of a piece of merch for myself, but it might be too risque. <laughs> Nate, you need your uh, drag name on some merch. Okay, if I missed what was going on. Oh, yes, I do have new Jello merch coming out, so stay tuned for that. And Louis merch too. Louis merch is coming. Okay, let me just look around, make sure I got everything opened. I think I did. So we did it in about two hours. <laughs> Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for sending me things. You never have to send me anything. You never do. But I am always so grateful when you do. I save every one of your notes. I treasure everything you guys sent me. It is just amazing. You guys all know me so well. You send me things that just go so perfectly with my collections. I just can't thank you all enough. Check out everybody that I mentioned in this video. I will try to link all of their channels down below and Instagram. <laughs> yes, Nate has a drag name. Nate will have to tell you about. 
that. <laughs> Um, but thank you guys so much. It was so very sweet of you all. Just great things. Venny, your box was amazing. Patrick's box was amazing. Everything you guys sent was amazing. A big round of applause to you all. A big, big thank you from Louie and me. And I just am so in love with all these treasures you sent. And I can't wait to put them all on uh, my different displays and collections and, and do an apartment tour because I think that will be fun. Yes, patio furniture is eight drag name. <laughs> but this was a lot of fun, guys. I'm going to jump off now. I have show and tell in just a few minutes. So we're cutting it close here. Show and tell at 9.30. Oh, Cindy. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Cindy, thank you for catching me. <laughs> Oh, I'm Cindy's box was sitting right here, and I thought I opened everything, but I, I missed it. Oh, Gina, thank you so much for that. You don't have to do that. Cindy sent me an amazing box. And I, Cindy, I'm so sorry. If you could see how my area was right now, you'd understand how it was easy to miss, but it doesn't mean that it's any less special. It is just so special. So, Cindy sent me an amazing box, and I want to share this with you. So this is so cool. Cindy sent me some really cool things. She sent me these vaporizer containers. Now, I love these. These are these little moth vaporizing containers. And they are so cool. Look at these. The graphics on these are just to die for. And I, I love these little containers at Halloween. They are so fun. This is the Mabex Company out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And these are amazing. And you put these in closets so they keep the moss away. And they got the little hangers. And this is 19 cents. Look at that. 19 cents, you guys. Just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So she sent me four of these which are so cool and so rusty, crusty, and dusty and just amazing. And I can't wait to put these in a little vignette because I think they're going to be cool. Ooh, that's a good idea, Christy. Glow sticks at Halloween. <laughs> and the next thing she sent, and I just adore this. Oh, my gosh, Cindy, look at him. He's a little pug. Oh, isn't he darling? Oh, I don't see many pug figurines. And I was just talking to uh, some folks on Instagram. And we were talking about how it'd be cool to find pug, vintage pug things, but there's not many pug things. Oh, it's a little Louie. Oh, this is going to go in my printer's tray with all my little fun, fun treasures. Oh, it's a little Louie. Oh, and the next thing she sent, oh, it's so sweet. She sent me a Peanuts a doll. Look at this, little Linus. Oh, she remembered. I love Peanuts. You guys know, I think I've shared this before, but I have an affinity for Peanuts because my grandfather loved Peanuts. We would watch all the cartoons, and he would cut out comic strips and mail them to me. Uh, vintage, uh, not vintage, well, I guess, you know, kind of vintage, comic strips from the newspaper, the colored Peanuts comic strips, and uh, it's just amazing. So I remember getting those notes. He'd circle the things that he thought were really, really funny, and <laughs> I just love him. Look at little Linus. Oh, he's so happy. Let's see who made him. He's from 1952. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is such a sweet, sweet gift. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, Cindy Brenner. I just adore him. And the little pug is just darling. Oh, this is amazing, Cindy. Let me just make sure I got everything you said. Yes, I did. Thank you, Cindy. I am so sorry that I... I I missed your package. It was not intentional. It's just that I, I have such a small space here in my apartment. So when I do these friend mail unboxings, I try my best to be very strategical about where I place things. But it's kind of hard when you're unwrapping things to have room. I don't have a, another space to uh, set them on. So thank you. Thank you. These are just so sweet. I love Linus. Isn't he awesome? 
So yes, Linus will be very much kept away from Louie. Linus is going up high. In fact, he will probably sit with my other little uh, stuffed animals and my, I have a little stuffed animal thing in my closet uh, from little animals that, that people have either gifted me or uh, a few animals that were from when I was a kid. I've got Polly back there and he is up high. So he sits in my closet and when I go in, it's like happiness. I, I have all my little fun little animals there. So guys, I got 10 minutes of my next show and tell, which will be happening in just 10, well, let's see, about 10 minutes now. So make sure you stay tuned, stick around. I know you've been with me for a while, but I've got a fun show and tell coming up tonight. I've got Adam from Record Crate. He is joining me on show and tell. Yes, I'm so glad, Sara Lee, you enjoyed your live. And it is just so fun. Well, I feel the love. I feel so loved and so special. And again, I can't thank you all enough. I, I really can't. You never have to send me anything, but I treasure everything you guys send. And it is just amazing. And I feel so spoiled. It's like Christmas morning. I'm looking around. I'm like, you, it's so happy. <laughs> So make sure you tune in to show and tell in just 10 minutes. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to run to the restroom and grab something to drink. And I'll be back for show and tell with uh, Adam from Record Crate. So as always, guys, I hope you will stay in, stay safe, and binge YouTube. Bye-bye now. Whoa, whoa, whoa.